Hey, so Oculus reached out to me and offered to send me a Rift S virtual reality headset to make a paid sponsored video on. Now, I only want to endorse products that I'd actually buy myself with my own money, which is why making this video was a complete no-brainer for me because I actually already purchased a Rift S just a few months ago now. Before I jump into this video though, let me just add that there's a link in the description down below if you'd like to learn more about the Oculus Rift S. So the Rift S is beautifully packaged, making a great first impression. Inside of the box, you get the Oculus Rift S headset itself with a five meter cable, then the left and right Oculus touch controllers, two AA batteries, and a mini display port to display port adapter for your PC, just in case you need to use it. The Rift S uses Oculus Insight tracking, which means that you don't need external sensors, as all of the motion sensing technology is actually built into the headset itself, which means that setting up and relocating your VR gaming experience is quicker and easier than ever before. There's just two connectors to plug into your PC, one of which is a USB free cable and the other is a DisplayPort cable. The headset uses a halo headband design, which makes it very easy to take on and off and to get comfortable wearing. You can also adjust the distance that the lenses sit away from your eyes, using the button on the bottom of the headset. The Rift S has improved optics and a higher resolution screen compared to the original Rift. Now this is my first premium VR headset, so I can't make any comparisons, but I can say that I was expecting the screen door effect to be significantly more noticeable than it actually is. So that's good. So the Oculus Touch controllers have been redesigned for inside out tracking. They're lightweight, only taking one AA battery each under their magnetic covers, and they feature safety straps, which you should always use when gaming in VR. The controllers are very intuitive and quickly become an extension of your hand once you're used to them. Moving on to setting up, I must say that the experience is a breeze. You simply download and install the software and then it talks you through the rest. Use the controllers to draw the boundaries of your play area, and then whilst gaming, the Guardian safety system lets you visualise when you're approaching the edges of your play space. The Oculus platform includes a few tech demo style experiences for you to get used to VR, and they're actually quite entertaining, so you really shouldn't skip them. My favourite of which being First Contact, as the little robot in it is so adorable. And the Oculus Home offers you a customisable space to relax and play in until you're ready to launch a game. Oculus have a large selection of games on their store, and there's always more to come. One upcoming game that I'm really excited about is Stormland, but that's not out until November the 14th, so unfortunately it just missed out on being included in this video. But a new release that I can recommend to you is Asgard's Wrath. This is a fully fledged RPG game developed specifically for virtual reality. It's full of Norse mythology, and what I've played so far has been really amazing, like, I think it could easily be one of my favourite games ever. Games like this really show you that VR can give you a full gaming experience, and it doesn't just have to be about arcadey fighting games. Although, of course, VR does offer you plenty of those as well. Another game I've been enjoying is Road by Recall. This is an extremely polished shooter that doesn't take itself too seriously. You play as a robot, whose job it is to recall defective robots during an uprising. Wands is an online competitive arena battle game in which you have fast but strategic magical duels against other players. It is great fun, especially if you can find someone closely matched to your own skill who is willing to rematch you after a close battle. So lastly, no video on VR would be complete without a little Beat Saber. This game was a system seller for me when I bought my Rift S and it's every bit as fun and addictive as it looks, although I definitely need a lot more practice. Overall, I am glad that I picked a Rift S for my entrance into VR gaming. I do think that now is a good time to jump into VR, as there is a large catalogue of games that have been released in the years since the initial wave of VR headsets came out back in 2016. And there's many more bigger and even more ambitious games on the way yet. And this new hardware, like the Rift S, makes VR gaming easier and more convenient than ever before. So thank you again to Oculus for sponsoring this video, looking at the Rift S and some VR games. Please don't forget to click the link in the description below to learn more about this headset. And thank you all for watching.